Hey everybody, what's up? It's Bacon Burger King, back with some more Super Mario Galaxy. In the last part, we did a uh, Honey Climb Galaxy. We took on one of the comets over at uh, Gusty Garden. And we did the Secret Star of Freeze Flame. In this part, we're going to actually do regular Freeze Flame in all of its glory. So... The frozen peak of Baron Burr. So I guess the first thing I'll say off the bat is, um, Star Trek Into Darkness, the new Star Trek movie. Now, I will say right now that I'm not a big fan of Star Trek movies. I'm not a big fan of Star Trek. Not, I'm not very into all those sci-fi movies. But this movie was really good. I highly recommend it if you haven't seen it yet. I mean, I bet you've heard from, like, a bunch of other people that it's a really good movie. But it is. Take my word for it. It's great. So, yeah. Star Trek Into Darkness. I recommend it. So we capture the penguin again. He goes off with his usual spiel. And I guess another thing that I'll say here is... The Megas. I love them. If you don't know who they are, they're a band who plays Mega Man music, pretty much. They take the music from the Mega Man games, and they take it, and they change it. They pretty much cover it in a rock form, and they add lyrics to it. And it's great, though, because their lyrics tell a story. Like, they've put out uh, two official albums, like, two albums that are, like, part of the story. Three albums that are part of the story, I guess, so far. They put out Megatainment, which is uh, all Mega Man 1 music. It's an EP that uh, is both the Megas and another band called uh, Entertainment System, who also covers NES music, as far as I know. Then there's um, Get Equipped, which is all Mega Man 2 music, which was their first real album. And then there's History Repeating Blue, which is, all, which is Mega Man 3. And they're currently working on History Repeating Red, which is the second part of their um, story for Mega Man 3. And their story is pretty good. It's like, they're pretty much making up their own story here. Like, I'll go over briefly. In Mega Man 1, Dr. Wily, of course, creates the robots. Uh, Mega Man is built, and he kills off the robots without question. In the final song of the fr of the EP, uh, Megatainment, Dr. Wily is, like, explaining to Mega Man all the stupid stuff he's doing, and how he should think about his own decisions here. And he does Mega Man doesn't think about it at first. Like, he's just like, whatever, it's Dr. Wily, he's the villain. Why should I listen to anything he has to say? He's the bad guy. Then in, uh, Get Equipped... Which is the sequel of sorts to, um, history, not re history repeating, to Megatainment. Uh, Dr. Wily's back. Mega Man dispatches of his brothers without question. Until the end, where he thinks about what Dr. Wily said back in the first game. I mean, originally he wanted to be the one. Which is actually the name of one of their songs off of that album about how Mega Man wants to be the one who stops Dr. Wily, and how Do uh, Dr. Light didn't build Mega Man to do this. He's not make he's not forcing him. He wants him to do it. Like, he wants to do it himself. Mega Man. And he starts to question... Mega Man starts to question at the end of the album, why do I fight for justice like this? Why do I do all this? He's, like, asking Dr. Light all these questions, like, is what I'm doing right? And if he can't answer him... Which makes Mega Man start to distrust, to distrust his um, creator, and then in Mega Man Three, history repeating blue, he starts to do the same thing, but he starts thinking on his own terms. Like he doesn't, he still doesn't want to do it at this point. He he's like, this is the last time. I'm not doing this again. I'm going to stop Doctor Lyle once and for all. I'm being sent off to do this without a choice. Let's just get it over with. Let's, let's destroy Dr. Wily once and for all. And pretty much 
history repeating blue is half the history repeating story, because history repeating red is going to tell the rest of it. And yeah, it's they are great songs. I highly recommend them. They're one of my favorite bands, actually. And I am so hyped for History Repeating Red because there are so many great songs that they haven't covered yet off of Mega Man 3. Like, they didn't do, um... They didn't do Whistle Concert, which is Proto Man's theme. That's probably gonna be the album closer. At least that's what everybody's predicting at this point. But yeah, they're really great. I highly recommend them. They're easily one of my favorite bands of all time. And if you haven't noticed, I love covering their music on my channel. Because, you know, at least at least for the sake of um, their first album, some of their songs are pretty easy to cover, and they're a lot of fun to cover too. So yeah, go check those out if you haven't. Anyways, so pretty much what you're going to want to do here is get the ice flower, come up here. You're going to want to jump, and then you're going to want to spin into him. And that's how you start the fight. Also, I figured that I should mention, I hate this song. Easily the worst song in the game. This, this battle isn't that great. And the music that plays with it is kind of really bad, in my opinion. So thankfully, the okay music of the fire flower, and ice flower rather, uh, will cancel that out, so that I don't have to deal with stupid music while fighting this boss. Make it a little less painful, I guess. So yeah, if you don't get him, then you're gonna have if he knocks you off and you don't have the uh, ice flower with you, you're gonna have to keep going back here. It's repetitive, it's annoying, it's not good. Oh my god! There's a comet that you have to do here later. It's a purple comet. That is the worst. I can never do it right because I always end up missing like something. I'll go into what those are later. You can't actually get the purple comet, like the purple comets to appear until after you fight Bowser. So pretty much what I'm going to have to do, at some point in the series, I'm going to have to uh, fight Bowser off screen and beat the game off screen. And then the purple comets will start appearing. And then after I have all 120 stars, I'll fight Bowser for the finale. Just like how Chugga Conroy did it, I guess. Alright, make him fall. Alright, spin him. It's weird, though. You have to spin into him to hit, to kill him. Rather than, uh... Ooh. Rather than have to... What's it called? I say that way too much, too, when I can't think of what I have to say. Rather than have to, um... I don't even remember what I was saying anymore. Whatever. So we gotta slide over here. Get some coins, because we're gonna need them. We're gonna go up here. Come on, come on. Oh, I got him. There we go. That is a weird shot of Mario right there. But hey, we got coins, so, you know, it's alright. It's alright. And with that, we now possess 50 Power Stars. Yay. So, now we can continue on here. We increase our star bit count. And I would indeed like to save my game. Alright, so uh, let's go back into Freeze Flame. 
And let's do the second mission. Hopefully I'll have enough time to do both missions. I don't know if I'll be able to, though. Freeze Flame's bl blistering core. So, we saw the freezy aspect. Now it's time to see the flamey aspect. <laughs> flamey. If you watch Tome, you get the reference. Ha 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 Alrighty, so... As you can see, we've got some star chips that must be uncovered. So, that's what we're gonna do. They aren't very hard to find. They're all either on this top area or on this bottom half. This one right here. And the other one is right over here. Almost got hit by that thing, though. That donut rock is what I usually call it. Or jelly rock. I don't know what their real name is. And I quite frankly don't care. Why won't they grab me? There we go. Getting this. There we go. Alright, so now we're gonna fire off to this very red rock. This very brown red lava rock. And now, instead of having to use the ice flower, we're gonna get to work with the fire flower again. Let's see, where do we get that? Well, first of all, they blatantly give us this um, uh, life up right there. So, I don't know why you wouldn't get it unless you were trying to like speed run the thing. But even still, it doesn't take too much time to get. Whatever. Um. Ah, there we go. I was just wondering, like, ah, uh, where's the fire? You're fired. Oh. 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 You're fired. Get it? It's a fire pun. If you don't like it, then deal with it. Alright, hopefully... Alright, that goes in the thing. Which makes the thing do the thing. Now we jump. Jump. Alright. Up. Oh. oh, that's not good. If I'm not mistaken, however, um, I believe that the fire flower lasts longer than the, uh, the ice flower. Although, this could just be me being stupid and mistaken. But, I don't know. I guess we'll find out here. Maybe it just feels longer because of that cutscene that I had to go through while I was using it. Yeah, it probably is just the same length. Anyways, now that we lit the both of those on... We made stairs! And of course, we have to go up the stairs, because why else would they be there? And I always like that little transition, it's kind of cool, I don't think enough levels use that. So now we've got a nice little platforming section, which you can easily get through by long jumping. Alright, let's get around these things, who I also don't care to know the name of. Don't know how it didn't go in the lava there, but hey, I'm not gonna question it. Oh no! Okay. Almost died there. But I didn't, so it's okay. <gasps> oh, I thought I was gonna get nailed by the spiky fluff. Oof. Man, I keep having some really close calls here. Alright, so let's jump over here. Jump and shoot. Wait a second, this isn't Mega Man. Oh, got it. I didn't think I was actually going to get it there, but whatever. Alright. Waiting for the world to change. Quite literally. Alright, now we're going to 
fail at wall jumping, apparently. Aha! And we flip once again. Come on, camera, work with me here. Alright. I have some platforming. It is very tasty. Tasty platforming. Okay, take that. Ooh, God, no, 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 no. Alright, that I can take. Alright. Let's uh, kill one of these and get a another um, coin, shall we? Because I'd prefer to be at full health at this point in time and not die. I mean, dying is always an option, but it usually isn't the best option. It is not good for your well-being. Alright, so jump, and uh, that didn't work at all. All right, I got that one. And I get that one. Perfect. Now hopefully we lose this fire flower fairly soon. There we go. <clears throat> and now we will burn our ass and get another star. Uh hmm. We're already at 16 minutes. What do I want to do here? You know what? I think I'm going to end off the episode here. So, in this part, we did some more of Freeze Flame. In the next part, we're going to finish up what's what we can do at this point in Freezy Flame. Yes, I just called it Freezy Flame. And who knows? Maybe we'll do some other stuff, too. So, this has been the king of all burgers. And I will see you all next time, as I fall through the bed. Okay, then.